Hi, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in seeing more of my videos, please click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Today we're at the June meeting, uh, June of 2022 of the Gulf Coast Orchid Alliance and I'm, I'm very pleased to have the award winner for two um, two awards at uh, at the meeting tonight and she's taken some time out at the, at the end of the meeting tonight for two beautiful plants and it was interesting tonight they were announcing awards and they would go from one category to the other and they kept on mentioning <laughs> her name and it was like I, I okay. cleaned up I cleaned up <laughs> she did good which means that we're gonna get some good information tonight uh, about how these plants were grown so we're gonna talk about only two of them mm -hmm. um, and uh, the first one is a uh, it's, is an epicatlian. I was wondering if you could tell me just a little bit about the uh, the bat, what the name of the plant is, a little bit of the background of it, and how how you grew it to to such a magnificent level. I bought this beautiful plant at Soroa. I think it's four years ago now. Okay. And it came potted in a beautiful pot and a hanger. And Soroa's plants are just yes. fabulous. And it's this is the second year that it's bloomed for me. And it's an Epicatlia Serena's Tinkerbell by Epicatlia Nursery, ooh, sorry, Nursery Rhyme and Randii. And I was told that this has exceptional flower quality and the flowers are larger than normal, than okay. usual. So it's a particularly good specimen. And I was encouraged to take it for judging. Okay, well. but I don't need. To, I don't think I'll be able to do that this time, unfortunately. Um, so I grow it in my lanai, and it's hanging with everybody else in the lanai, and it faces south, so it gets wonderful morning light, and then as the day progresses, it also gets some afternoon light, and I water. It's like with the hose, and mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do fertilize every week. Okay. And I use Palmer's fertilizer. Right. Okay. And I also supplement with a little um, extra calcium and magnesium every other time. Okay. All right. So, and, and just so, so the people that aren't from the area, uh -huh. Arnold and I means you've got. You've I've got, got a, a screened in enclosure okay. around my pool. Right. Because I live in a gated community and that's. Okay. I'm restricted to uh, that growing she, area. Uh, any any shade from trees or just your, your no, screen? No, so. there is no shade from okay. trees. Okay, so No so shade good, from so. trees. Okay. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Okay, all right. And then we have And it's been blooming. It's <laughs> been blooming for almost a month now. It really is a beautiful plant. Yeah, it is. And and it's just it's just loaded and the um, it's it just yeah, it is a great plant. But let's let's move on if we can. So the other one I want we want to talk about is is the vanda and the vanda to me was it was it was exceptional but um the one thing that stood out about your vanda is the fragrance i i go through oh, and i yes. smell the flowers and it's... i went from one vanda to the other and as soon as i hit your vanda it was like oh my gosh so i was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your vanda yeah um, i've been trying to identify the the fragrance it's to me it's it's a little bit like candy but it has a little smoky uh-huh note to it also I just can't put my finger on what that fragrance is but it surely is fragrant it is, it is nice yeah it and is nice. um I bought it at Palmer's um, again about four years ago and it was just a vanda and now it has three or four kikis oh, and one okay. kiki is actually producing right now it's not it it it's in bud but it's not in bloom just yet so, um, yeah, so I, I go out with my coffee every morning <laughs> and stand there with the hose and water it. And I know that vandas are pretty thirsty and I've been taking better care of my vandas because I didn't before. Okay. So I have a few nice ones and they're getting, they're getting the TLC. Okay. So that's the one that's getting um, the TLC. Lo loca location, same thing in, same, on your um, line? It is actually on, um, it gets... It's on the west side. It's on the east side of my lot, my lanai, but it gets the sun in the afternoon that okay. is shining from the west. And it gets morning sun, and then it gets 
pretty strong sun in the afternoon. Okay, all right, good. All right, well, you know, whatever she's doing is working just great. Beginner's luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't believe her. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing this for a while. She knows what she's doing. Seven and, whole years. <laughs> yeah, and, and, but still, I hope I hope that, uh, that that the viewers here can have you know have learned something. Well, from thank this. you. I appreciate it. And and congratulations on the thank you. numerous awards that we were allowed to talk about uh, thank tonight. You. <laughs> so so, uh, congratulations again, and and thanks for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you very much. You're Tom. welcome.